Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a mixed haul for you today. So I did a little thrifting over the weekend and then I went to Hobby Lobby. I think that's it, but we'll show you. Alex is here and he says, hey, I'm feeling much better today. It is Monday, Labor Day, no, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, and I'm feeling better. My taster is still off, I'm having some coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one thing first, put together, and then I'll show you the pieces. So this is gonna go on my mantle. I stitched this Suffrage Act, and then at Hobby Lobby, I bought this metal, it's, oh, oh that's what's going on there. It's a wall hanging basket, like a folder hanger. But it's magnet, it's metal. So this is magnet to it. And then I was at, oh, an antique store. But I think this is all I got there. And I picked up this. And it's just a decorative mosaic. It looks like it was hand cut. I don't know. It was $12. And I think it'll be fun, too, in the summer to hang some stuff on it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's wood. It was $12. Um... So I thought I would just layer up all of this stuff. I'm fixing it. I love greenery. Um, you can have the bows, I'll take the greenery. And I'll fluff it up and then this will sit on my mantle with my summer stitching. Uh, the metal piece, it's just a file folder or a folder holder, was $21.99 half price. So it was like $11. So everything I got at Hobby Lobby today was half price. I'm just grabbing bags and then I'll tell you where I got it. This is Hobby Lobby. Oh yes. Uh, uh, uh. These are little charms or a little like to hang on a bracelet, but um, there it's a British teapot and little cups. This will become something. And then I grab just to make some crafty. These are lobster claws they're called. I got some at Joanne as well. And I might, I don't know if I have any Joanne stuff over here. Actually, I don't even know where my Joanne stuff is that I bought yesterday. Must be upstairs if I had to guess. I'm grabbing stuff around the corner here, guys. Um, okay. Oh, and then I went to, I'll have to figure this all out. Hobby Lobby. I'm just trying to put all the Hobby Lobby stuff together. How about that? Did I buy anything else at the Hobby Lobby? I don't think so. Okay. And then at Hobby Lobby for my mantle to go with that, this is just like a metal bird cage. You can even put a bird in there if you wanted to. And this was $10.99 half price. Um, they had all different bird cages, but I thought it would look good sitting next to my stitching. I just love the feel of it. It feels this old and metal. And there's a little bird. And they had bigger, smaller. I grabbed that size. And then I grabbed one of these. Um, it's just a basket. It was regularly $7.99, so it was $3.50, $4, $4. But I can stitch one of my cross stitches to the front of this basket. I've been wanting to finish things and I didn't have stuff to finish. That is why I've been going and buying all the things at Hobby Lobby and at thrift stores and stuff because I need to I need to have things to finish my projects on. It's called finishing. Um, okay, so I think everything else is thrift store. Okay, so we went to the antique store, Maggie Market. That's where I got the wooden piece. We went to Hobby Lobby, and that is where I got the metal. Oh, and there's a metal frame. It's just a metal, it's like a book holder, really. But I can also put stitching on it. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so there's a thrift store near me. It is a St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. And I go in there on occasion and they, I hit the crafter's mother load. So somebody got rid of grandma's stuff. So I found this hoop again to finish. I wouldn't, I'm not sure that I will use this to um, actually stitch in, but it will hold a, a stitched piece, lovely on the wall and it's nice and thick and I could probably cut that down or put something over it, greenery over it, but I can hang a piece in that. So I grab that and then I found 
guys i got a mess going on over here oh this is just trashy stuff so in the bin i found this which is stanley pressing cloth steam press in your home with a regular iron for a tailored effect so it's a pressing cloth i gotta figure out how to work it but I'm always ironing stuff and this is nice and thick and it is chemically treated. Oh, use this side up, silicone added to make iron glide more effortlessly. So I grabbed this ironing cloth. We'll see if it gets used or you know, it may just end up in a fun little sewing basket of antique stuff that I've been finding. Um, this is definitely vintage at the least. Let's see what, if it has a year on it. Um, it does not. It was made in Westfield, Massachusetts by Stanley. I don't know, but I love it. It's got this vintage feel to it. I'm gonna say the 70s at a minimum. I love it. So I found that in there. And then I also found, I'm missing one, two of these. I'll have to find the other one. It's a little wooden spool. Just And this one, I love the color of the wood. And this is Clark's 29 cent. Um, 29 cents for this, but it's the wooden spool that I love. And I love this natural green color. So I grabbed that. And that was two of these and one of this for a dollar because it was just like loose. Oh, here it is. And then I got this little wooden spool. And again, I think these are just gonna go in like a little basket of like goodies. I'll clean it up or not, you know, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. This end is peeled off, this one stays, but so just in the bowl. To go with that, I picked up also vintage, a pair of pinking shears. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these cleaned up to use and sharpen. They will cut paper, but they will not cut fabrics. But they may end up in like a little vintage basket and a thimble as well. And I thought these are just cute little, just cute little vintage things that I can um, display in my sewing space or down here. It doesn't matter. Then I found, oh, these goodies here which i don't these are not old I'm, i got these to use now this is a micron archival ink pen just to write with black and these are wash out cloth marker so i think it's for you can mark on your sewing i want the chalk pen is really what i'm looking for are the chalk things i need to order but these can also, because I feel like they feel a little older, can go in with my little vintage collection that I'm putting together. Um, did I know before I went into that thrift store that I was collecting vintage sewing stuff? Uh-uh. But am I happy I decided to? I sure am. Then I found what I've been looking for. Vintage buttons. I have been on the hunt for some vintage buttons to craft with and I just love them. These, this one here, this bag has, these are metal shank buttons that it probably came off of men's suits. Uh, this one looks pretty new. It has the American Eagle. I don't know if you're gonna see these things, the American Eagle on it. Okay, we'll try something different. This is why I grabbed the bag and it was a $2.99. These are Lacoste brand with the alligator and there were 12 of these little alligator buttons in this bag and then there was some other i'm not sure what this brand is i'll figure it out they were little they were this vintagey bb i don't know what that is little buttons just for to have and just put on projects and then i grabbed this little bag for a dollar 99 and this one had what I really wanted in here. I did find another bag that was just full of like black plain buttons and I don't need all that. But this is, I don't know if I can read it. Again, I think these go to a suit, some type of blazer. So grandma was really collecting buttons. But what I really wanted were these two, which are 
plasticky, maybe like Malmite. Just different buttons. So in here was a little bit of a uh, collection of little seashell, little um, tortoise buttons, as well as the metal shank buttons. So I thought those were fun for my collection. And then this bag here, I honestly didn't even know what was in this bag because it was double wrapped, but it's all kinds of buttons somebody collected off of clothing, which is fun. You know, just spare buttons, we all have those. But I found these, which is make your own fabric buttons with no tools needed. There's this and an extra one kicking around. Had some snaps, but it also had with my vintage vibe, these hook and eye, 35 cents. Um, again, vintage sewing supplies, just little hook and eyes. So these will all go together. And I also have some vintage sewing needles that I found. So they're all gonna get displayed in some type of a um, basket of some sort, like I said. And then in here, I have another, just some loose buttons and then some buttons that came, all these came off of like clothes. But this is the set that you do. I have to learn how to do it. But on the inside, there are these teeth. So you put your fabric on the teeth and it holds them. And then there's a back that would go down and snap over the fabric. And now you've made yourself a customized fabric covered button. And I think I can use cross stitch fabric and stitch a little something, put a little um, padding under it and then put the stitching. So I thought that was super excited. And if not, this is so vintagey vibe that it can also go in my little basket of goodies with my scissors and all of this kind of vintagey stuff that I found, including like these vintage snaps in the packaging. And then these are all just single buttons. I'll take them out of the stuff. So I grabbed all of these buttons and the ironing cloth and this was 99 cents. So it was all like less than $10 and that was giving a donation. I was so excited. So I got all that at, um, what's the store? It is called St. Vincent de Paul. Then this morning I needed to go get gas and some things. So I ran into a Goodwill and I found this jar, which I had been looking at a couple of times I was in there and I decided today was the day because I have some pins to stick in here. And then since I'm doing like a vintagey feel, it's an old, old Avon container and I'm, I'm taking it off. It was $3.99 at Goodwill, which was definitely more than I think I would want to pay. I'm trying to get their sticker off because this was regular, well, this was being sold um, at some antique store for $7, some antique land USA, and they were selling it for $7, but it's this really lovely jar. I'm assuming it had like cold cream or per some kind of flavored scented something, makeup of some sort, but it's a real nice heavy lid and it goes on and I'm going to put straight pins in here for my little vintagey sewy area. I need to clean it up and it's so pretty. How old it is, I have no idea. It just says Avon on the bottom. I don't know. And then I found this, which is brand new. It had half of a week, half of a week's worth of pill holders in it, but we don't need all that. I wanted it for this. First of all, it's super pretty. I thought it was Vera Bradley at first, but it's not. But look at the shape of this zip pouch to hold like sewing notions. I could put some uh, pin cushion down here or Velcro in something and keep scissors and floss and all of that when I'm going about my stitchy life and leaving the house someday. And I can just throw this and it's big enough. It's got a nice deep, it's like a, probably an inch deep, which will hold 
some fun things. And then when I open it up at the table where I'm at, all of my stuff will stay contained and it won't be like everywhere, you know? A needle a seam ripper and a tape measure and all that can just go right down in here. And honestly, I have some little pockets that little things like needles, needle minders can go in. And this was $1.99. So that's what I got at Goodwill. And then I went to my Volunteers of America, which hasn't really been having much stuff lately or the picking people who are resellers are getting there before I do, which that's fine. I don't need anything. But I will tell you that I have my eye on this. I've been looking at it for several weeks now. I just didn't want to pay the price for it that they wanted. So it's going to be a Christmas gift for somebody. It's a candy jar. I'm I would say from the 80s or 90s, maybe older. I don't really know. But it has the la open weave here to hold scissors and sewing notions. And I can either fill the inside with a pin cushion or not. And the person I'm gifting it to could use it to like store their craft goodies. Um, or I could do a combination because it's pretty large. If I wanted, I could do like a half pin cushion and a half like little cup to store extra needles and stuff in. This is a pretty decent sized vessel. I'm pretty sure it's a candy dish. There's no markings that I can tell who or what it is, but so it was $7.99 and I didn't buy it. I've been looking at it for several, ooh, several weeks and I haven't bought it because it's not exactly what I wanted. But when I went in today, this green tag was 75% off. So it was like $2 and then it became exactly what I wanted for $2. So I'll make it work for the person that I'm gifting it to and they will love it. And it's kind of nice and roomy, which is lovely. Or I can use it to display all my vintage craft stuff and use something else. I have plenty of time for Christmas, but when you're trying to find some vintage items to craft with, you just gotta pick it up when you see it. And for $2, I will make use of this. We need our thumbnail. And that is it. That is all of the shopping that I've done since, I mean, I've had some of this stuff for a week or two since before COVID, but I was waiting to shoot a video till I felt better. So that is everything I picked up. I need to clean up this mess, get my mantle under control, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later.